let's start off with why. Why the concert? Well, <clears throat> when I went down, I was down there, right? I mean, and uh, when I got back to Jamaica, Bill Graham called me. I said, uh, do you want to do a benefit, you know, with Santana for Nicaragua? Because one of Santana's from Nicaragua, the, the, the Timbali play. And um, after the earthquake? I saw dead, people dead and all that, you know, and people being treated in hospital. And um, there was a shortage of things, there was a shortage of uh, medicines. And, and so this is your thing, at least what you can do? No, I mean, that, all that medical stuff and all this now, I mean, this is not what that this money is for. I mean, this is, you know... That's all been covered. I mean, America did really, you know, a really good job. Mm. A lot of people helped. Why was the visa in Japan denied or not granted? Well, the visa was not granted because uh, uh, <clears throat> because uh, I had a drug conviction in 1969. But in October they said that they would uh, they would uh, they wouldn't worry about that because, as here, I mean, the the rule is that you can't come in. But if it's only a marijuana conviction, they tend to. Uh, uh, you know, wait, give you a waiver if uh, if they're kind enough to do so, and uh, they would do that. That's what they said they do in, in October, and uh, ten, day, ten days ago they just uh, said no, you can't come because you're too well known. So I said because I'm too well known. So I said yeah, because you're too well known. So I said thank you. I wish you'd told me in October because we wouldn't have sold the tickets. I said yeah, sure, because I'd been down there and I saw that there was obviously going to be things needed and like. Um, they would summon so many poor people anyway, so they would really need bread, you know. So we thought we'd do it. Did you get into seeing the lines for food and water yeah. and yeah, I saw describe that. it for us if well, you can. Well, I mean, as you know there was as you know there was um camps set up around Managua for the people that didn't leave, you know. And uh they were just just give out rations. Well, really, you know, in it weren't like not very nice food, was it? I mean, you know that. It was just like biscuits made in 1963 and stuff like that. But it was down through San Diego in this country, and, and I'd like to know your general reflections about uh, this country, the people, uh, the kids who come out to see, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, where do you think uh, we're all at? Or that was so long, you know, that was a, it was really an on the road. Oh, that's a very hard question to do an interview like this. I, I know it is. Can you bring it down, uh, well, maybe to today, you're stopping back in the United States, uh, your wife is from Managua. Maybe give us, you know, where are you going? Where is Mick Jagger going? Going to Honolulu on Sunday. <laughs> after that, I don't know. I've got two weeks. I was supposed to be going to Japan. Uh, after that, I don't know. Just uh, keep going. You know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have a general direction. I only know what I'm going to do for the next year. Yeah. Isn't there a point at which uh, you know a rock star, anybody's uh, celebrity status, starts to wane? Well, you have to do something else. You know, I mean, you, you do a certain thing for until you're like 30 or 31, and then you have to go and do something else. What's your something else? I don't know, I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't made up your mind yet? Not really. The Beatles, of course, found sort of the same thing, a higher level, I guess. Uh, well, I don't know. You ever, does your group ever run into those problems, splitting up? Uh, no. We wouldn't be so bitchy. Go down. You can't go on forever, but uh, you can go on for a good time, you know? What's the secret of staying together, really? Not seeing each other too often. It's one of them. You go your different ways with commercial yeah. interests? Yeah, no, no. We don't have any commercial interests. Uh, it's not commercial. I mean, we're not a sort of soap powder, you know. But, uh, no, we just, um, we never had any real problems. Uh, and if they do, you know, they have to, you know, everyone buckles down, you know. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Don't, let me, let me grab Gary, thank you very much. You know how to work it? I'll figure it out here somehow. Thank you. Thank you, man.